Good morning, guys. Day 255? I don't even know what day it is anymore. Um, Year-long project of a daily vlog. <sighs> Less than three months ago, I think. So, no, hold on. Uh, still got half of January, February, March, April. Um, January, February, February, March, March, April. Okay, yeah, three months then. Just about three months. Why do you still have a nativity scene up? Anyway, um, uh, um, I don't have anything to talk about right now. Hmm. Sorry, all you get to see is me looking awkward. <sighs> well, I'm going to uh, Boston tomorrow, so I guess I could report on that. Going uh, to Boston for Aresia. Still have no idea where I'm supposed to be heading, though. Yeah, that's going to be very useful to know for tomorrow. Uh, going with Steampunk Studios, so look for us there. Um, at least Boston's a lot closer than uh, Harrisburg. I think with Harrisburg, it's close to four hour drive, well, three and a half hours. With Boston, I think it's two, two and a half hours. So, yeah. Anyway, oh boy. So I should probably be out the door by 9 o'clock. Because we have to be there by 11.30, I think. So I think 9 o'clock. Hmm. Anyway. Time for work. Oh. Yeah, time for work. <sighs> Alright, heading home now. Uh, it was an okay day at work. No. Not entirely too busy, but not bored either, so not too bad. Anyway, um, just got a call from Monroe Staffing not too long ago. Uh, tried to schedule me for another interview tomorrow. Problem is, tomorrow I'll be in Boston. So, uh, Anyway, uh, they're going to try to my set me up with an interview for next week, morning time, sometime between Monday and Thursday, because next well, the weekend, I'll be back in Harrisburg. Oh, I'm dreading that drive. Anyway, um... Oh, you know what? Uh, just before going into work today, I uh, can't had this realization. Now that my, now that, uh, well, I guess she's my ex now. Now that she's broken up with me, I uh, realized I no longer feel obligated to get her a birthday present, and her birthday is coming up in a week or so. So, and <laughs> I already had a birthday present uh, planned out for her too, and uh, now I'm actually kind of glad I don't have to get it for her because it was a bit on the expensive side, and I mean, it was something that she really wanted to, so, ah, uh, don't have to get it for her now. Huh. Same thing with uh, Valentine's Day. Don't have to do anything for that. Yet again. Third girlfriend. Third girlfriend where I did not have to do anything for Valentine's Day. It's weird how they all seem to break up with me before the gift giving holidays. Well, hold on, no. Let me, ref let me say that again. 
Uh, funny how they all seem to break up with me before any event that uh, involves gift giving. Whether it's birthday, Christmas, Valentine's Day. So, well, this uh, last one, the my bro, hung up with me after Christmas. So, uh, uh, I still lost that investment there. Oh well. <sighs> okay, now it's time for today's useless facts. And today we have. Rats. The Karnimata Temple in the town of Dashnoka, India is known to be a temple of rats. Goddess Karni is thought to be a reincarnation of Goddess Durga. The rats in this temple are worshipped as they are considered to be the spirits of Goddess Karni's followers. The priests who maintain this ancient temple provide the rats with food. Yeah, you know, I do remember he uh, hearing about that temple. I think it was on Discovery Channel. Huh. Rats can live without water for an even longer duration than camels. Well, smaller body, smaller body, smaller need for resources, I guess. Huh. An experiment was done in which a marked rat was left on one of the islands of New Zealand. Within a few days, the same rat was found on another island 400 meters away from the original one. They can swim in the water for as long as 36 hours. Marathon swimmers. Ha! Huh. Hold the cheddar! Contrary to popular belief, rats do not like cheese. In fact, they are lactose intolerant. Ah. Oh, that's a horrible idea. I just thought of a really horrible idea. Rather than trying to capture rats torment them by throwing out cheese. Ew. Rats will eat their own feces strictly for the nutritional value. Isn't that what most rodents do anyway? Rats may not have gallbladders or tonsils, but all are born with belly buttons. How are those connected in any way? During its receptivity period, the female rat can mate around 500 times and with 500 different partners. Slut. Each period lasts around 6 hours and occurs 15 times in one year. Super slut. In fact, a pair of mating rats could produce 1,500 more rats in only one year if all of their offsprings survive. Redneck hillbilly slut. Anyway, that does it for today's useless facts. Tomorrow we have, well actually tomorrow I'm going up to Boston so there's not going to be any useless facts tomorrow. Monday. Useless facts for Monday or Sunday depending on what time I get home. Rice. Alright, so as I had said last night, my friends and I went to a buffet for dinner. Uh, it was their grand opening, which is actually kind of funny since they've been open for more than a month now. More than two months, I think. So how could it be their grand opening now? Well, anyway, um, yesterday was their grand opening, and uh, they were doing all day crab legs and lobsters, I believe. So, I mean, it was just plain, it was just dinner as usual, but this is uh, what I want to talk about. It's how 
crazy are people for lobsters? Honestly, the entire you have all these buffet stations and you have a line or actually it was more like um it was it was definitely nothing as neat as a line that's for certain everyone was crowded around the tray for lobsters everyone was yeah they were all just waiting there for lobsters um you know, uh, you know now I actually do have an image in my mind of what that reminds me of actually vultures everyone was being were being vultures seriously so many there's so many other food choices people you know you don't have to just stand there waiting for the lobsters actually uh, everyone did kind of have to since uh, select few people how do I say this okay as soon as a tray of lobsters come out there are only four tongs so four people grab the, the tongs and meanwhile there's still a huge group of people gathering around them waiting for their turn as soon as the tray comes out vulture dive grab up as many as they can leave nothing for anyone else greedy vultures you can't even share as soon as the tray comes out you guys have to clear it clean it what the hell Really? <sighs> yeah, the whole night it was just like that. Everyone just stood around that tray waiting for their turn to get some lobsters. And as soon as the lobster comes out, the first four people have to clear it. Greedy bastards. Well, anyway, um... Other than that, it was just dinner as normal, as usual. Uh, and since it was their uh, grand opening, uh, they were giving out these uh, coffee mugs, I guess you could call them. Actually, they are coffee mugs, aren't they? Um, so, spend $20, get a coffee mug. The Teppanyaki and Supreme Buffet. I don't know why I just said it like that. Whatever. And uh, since it was a group of four, of, it was uh, four of us there. That's over forty dollars, including tax. So, got two mugs. My friends didn't want one, so I got both of them. Whatever. Uh, I was I was the one who paid for the dinner, so I guess uh, it makes sense that I get them. Yeah, the uh, $100 gift card. Use that to pay. So, um, I am just rambling about nonsense now, aren't I? Yeah. In fact, I didn't even need to share that story at all. I didn't even tell it well. Okay, that does it for today, then. I'm not going to waste any more time. Uh, see you guys tomorrow when I take my journey... Up to Boston. Boston. Those bastards. And mass holes. I mean, I'm okay with Boston. It's return trips that I am not okay with. Because of my bad luck with, uh, returning from Boston. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow.